Hey gamers, recently I changed my PC OS from Windows 10 to Windows 11. While changing to Windows 11, I thought it's going to be super fast, smooth and will give best performance. But after changing to Windows 11 only I came to know the real truth. Actually Windows 11 looks good, but it made my PC laggy and started stutter in between due to some pre-enabled new settings and also some new bugs. So in this video, I'm going to optimize my Windows 11 to fix the stutter and boost the performance. I'm going to show you the 10 optimization steps which is going to give the huge performance boost in your PC. But before that please like this video guys, it helps to reach more people and helps me not to freeze again. So without wasting time let's get into the video. Let's get started. First go to this search icon in taskbar, search settings, and go inside it. Here in left side go to apps. Select apps and features. Now search for Cortana software. Here it is. Click this three dot and select advanced option. Now disable this microphone option and disable Cortana. And change this background app permission to never. That's it. Actually Cortana is the heavy software which runs in background always and add load to our PC. So this settings helps to stop running this Cortana software in background and helps to reduce background load from our PC. Next again go to settings guys. Select system. Go to storage. And enable this storage sense. Now go inside it. Here enable this keep windows running smoothly by automatically cleaning up temporary storage. And enable this automatic user content cleanup. What it does is, it helps to automatically clean up the temporary files and shader caches. Which helps to give some extra space in our PC. You can customize the when to run this storage sense feature. Best keep it to 30 days. Okay, now come back. Under storage sense select this cleanup storage, here it showcase the temporary files, large files, and some unused apps. Now you can easily clear the unnecessary files and apps, and gain even more storage guys. Very useful feature in Windows 11. Helps to make PC lighter. Next search for core isolation. Go inside it. If you see memory integrity is enabled in your PC, then disable it guys. Memory integrity is the extra security that allows Windows 11 to allocate a portion of the memory hardware to host security features. But in our case, to increase performance we should definitely disable it. This is the before and after memory integrity enabled and disabled. We can see more loss in performance, so disable it guys. Next we are going to do the basic optimization step, which is to disable the unnecessary startup. For that right click the windows icon, select the task manager, here go to startup. Actually guys, this is old method of disabling startup, in windows 11 they updated the startup method, let's see that. For that go to settings, select apps, Click startups, here you can easily disable the unnecessary app startups, it really boost up your PC boot up speed, and increase the performance. So disable the unnecessary startup apps guys. Next press windows plus R in keyboard, type control and press enter, now click hardware and sound, go to devices and printers. Right click this keyboard icon, and select mouse setting, now select the pointer option, now disable this enhance pointer precision. Enhance mouse precision is a form of mouse acceleration that the operating system enables by default. If you enable this setting, Windows constantly monitors your mouse movement. When you enable this setting and adjusts your DPI accordingly, the disadvantage of enabling enhance pointer precision for gaming is that Windows will automatically increase the DPI when you wouldn't want it to change it. So it's better disable it. Next go to settings. Go to gaming section. Go to game mode. And enable this game mode. Windows 11 is highly optimized for gaming. This feature automatically stop the background apps while gaming. Next go to this graphics option. Now browse the game icon which you have in your PC. Now select it. And go to option. And change it to high performance. It helps to give the higher priority of graphics memory while gaming. Do this to all the games you have. 
Now again come back, and go to Xbox Game Bar. If it's enabled in your PC, disable it. Xbox Game Bar usually takes 5 to 10 percentage of CPU memory in background for no use, so disable it. Next go to apps section, select the apps and features. Now scroll down, and go to Xbox Game Bar, go to advanced option. Make sure you disabled it, and changed background apps permission to never. Next come back, again search for Xbox console companion, go to advanced option. Disable everything, and set background permission to never. Next come back select Xbox, and go to advanced option, set background permission to never. That's it. Let's see the next optimization. Next press Windows plus R in keyboard. Type percentage 10 percentage, and press enter. You get page like this. These are the unnecessary temp files and cache data, so select everything and delete it. Some files you can't delete, so select skip. That's it. Next go to search, type power, and select edit power plan. Here click advanced power option, you get new pop up. Now change here to high performance, this automatically change its preset to give high performance. Click ok, still two more optimization tweaks are there, if you're still watching this video really thank you. Please like this video, so much efforts are taken to make this video, your likes helps me motivate to do more, ok. Go to search, type notification, click this notification and action settings, here disable the unnecessary app notification, like driver notification, microsoft store, and whatever apps you feel no need of notification, disable it. Ok, we came to the end game, last step of this video, this step is very important step, which helps to fix all the bugs of windows 11. This step is nothing but Windows Update, yes Windows Update, go to search, type update, and go to Windows Update settings, now click check for updates, be patient till it loads, now it shows many list of updates, be patient till it update, don't worry about data guys, if you're using mobile data, then recharge the mobile data or use some of the hotspots, and update the PC, always keep your PC up to date. This is very important in any PC, Microsoft keep on give updates to fix the bugs, and optimize the windows, so check for updates once in a week guys. 2000 years later. After updating, my PC is finally up to date. I covered all the 10 steps of optimization tweaks. Next what video you want, ask in comment guys, I will make for you, give like and share this video to your friends, ok guys, I hope you like this video, if you like this video, please hit that like button, it helps me to motivate myself, and push me to make more video, just hit that like, I will give you quality contents for you, we have gaming contents, PC related contents, and many more are waiting for you, so don't forget to subscribe, and click the bell button, for not missing our contents. See you soon in another awesome video. Until then life is very short friends always be happy. Bye.